A staggering number of kids have lost a parent or primary caregiver to COVID. An estimated 200,000 and growing. Most are under 13. Some have a surviving parent, but in many families, only the children remain. There's some days where I'm perfectly fine, and then others just want to hide under a blanket. 15-year-old Zoe and her three siblings lost their single mother in August. Jenny is 24. You've gone from being big sister to, well, do you think of yourself as a mother? I don't think I'll ever be okay to say that, but I would say I, I'm more of a parental figure, but mom, I don't think I can put that on my shoulders yet. Brother Trey is 20 and helps in every way he can, contributing his full-time salary while he goes to school at night. How is life with three women? It's definitely not easy. Sometimes you need a break from, can you help me do my hair, stuff like that. Is he any good at that, by the way? No. The hair? No. But it is Jenny who's put her own school plans on hold and works as a dental assistant who's shouldering the greatest responsibility. So I know one of the first priorities was making sure that you got guardianship of your little sisters. Definitely. I didn't want to take a chance of losing them. Separated yes. even in the foster care system or something. Oh my gosh, I can't even, mm, I don't want to think about that. How, how have these two on the other end of the sofa been doing? Have they been stepping up? She's impressed me, actually. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jenny! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Well, tell me why. She gives, like, a motherly vibe all the time now. Aww. Yeah, it's like she's filling in that little hole of wanting a mother now, but she's, like, there, so it's like, thank you. Oh my gosh, yeah. I've never heard that, so you're welcome. Their mother, Cindy Dawkins, worked two jobs. The kids were everything to her. Sierra is only 12 and still desperately misses her. I always used to sleep in her room. You just like being with her? Yeah. She made you feel safe. After Cindy's death, Jenny and Trey had no idea what to do. So they called a mom from Trey's high school who'd helped them in the past. I'm looking at these two kids that are like deer in headlights. And it, all they said was, we just want to make sure we stay together. Janie Yoshida and her husband stepped in to pay the rent for the next six months. You and your husband were the safety net. Yeah. Not easy, but I don't know what would have what would have happened. Did anyone from the hospital ever call you guys and say, hey, your mother's died, what can we do? No. Anybody from town? No, no. None of that. Nobody. If it wasn't for Ms. Janie, we wouldn't know what to do at all. There's no one calling and saying, OK, this is what agency you should get in touch with. We were like, what about food? I said, oh my gosh, do the girls have health insurance? Uh, we need to make sure that, you know, they're going to be able to go to the doctors. And so I made a list. I'm not sure where we go from here. And we've been trying to get the FEMA funeral assistance, and it still says pending. To think that two young people are going to navigate this by themselves, that's, I've barely been able to navigate it. Sadly, there are many families like theirs. In my mind, it is a national health emergency. Dr. Charles Nelson was among the first to study caregiver deaths from COVID. If a child has lost a parent, someone needs to show up at that doorstep right away, meaning that day, the next day. And, and we again, know that there is no system for that right now. That's the problem. This loss is our loss. These children are our children. And it seems to me that uh, we in positions of responsibility ought to start acting like it. Deval Patrick co-chairs a large bipartisan coalition that's urged the White House to make these kids a priority. There are resources available that are going unutilized, but there is so little transparency and clarity about how to access those programs that they might as well not exist. Miss Janey knows that's true. She found it so hard to access services for the kids, she was relieved she created a GoFundMe page. Most of the money going to a down payment on a home of their own. The kids moved in last week. They've never given up. They never say, why me? Ever. 
Not, why us? Why did this happen to our mom? And these four kids get up every day with whatever challenge is ahead of them and still do it. A truly remarkable family. And as Jenny said to me, every family needs a Miss Janie. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, one other thing, we reached out to FEMA about that benefit yeah. that Jenny had applied for, and they said they had made a mistake. Oh they apologized. They told us they are sending the money to the family. And as of this morning, the COVID Collaborative is launching a first-of-its-kind clearinghouse, including direct links to services like that FEMA benefit, and that should help. For more info, you can go to our website at today.com. The fact that money was sitting on the table that sure. these people need yeah. going unused was unbelievable. Mm -hmm. If you can't access the help, what's the point of they, having the help yeah, there? You don't have an advocate. These kids right. need an advocate And by the way, those them. kids were remarkable. Mm. What a family, huh? Yeah. Oh. And that most of these kids are under 13. I mean, they need someone to be their voice. Yeah. So. And you oh. started that piece with 200,000 yeah. children. Yeah. Yeah. I, we had no idea. I didn't know. And growing. That high. Yeah. growing. And growing. And here's the thing. They, you, we know the number. We don't know yeah. who they are. We don't know where they live. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, when the mom dies, how come no one from the hospital calls them. Yeah. I mean, that's just that's unbelievable, right. yeah. too. You know, we reached out to them. Need a new system. Yeah. All right, Cynthia, thank you. That was thank you. Thanks, Cynthia. Thank you. Thank you, right. Cynthia. Uh Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.